hey guys welcome back to the channel so today we're going to be doing a very simple but interesting diy we're going to be making this great granny bag so to start off i had my african print fabric 35 centimeters by 75 centimeters this fabric is doubled then i folded it in half like that then i took a dinner plate you can also use a curved ruler then i just drew a curve on that edge then I cut it away with my scissors. So when I open it up, it looks like that. Then I now placed the right sides facing each other. I used these little pegs to just hold it down before I went on to sew the edge on the sewing machine. So before I sew, I just mark about 5 centimeters from the top. I'm not going to sew this part. Then I also took um, the same sized piece of fabric for my lining. Then I did the same thing that I did. Then I wanted to insert an inner pocket so I took a piece of fabric and then I cut out 14 by 16 centimeters square piece of fabric. Then I ironed, I folded in all the edges and then I ironed them. Then I pinned it down and then I sewed the three remaining edges down. So now I had an inner pocket. After that, I now took my yellow fabric, my lining fabric, and then I placed it on top of my on top of my other lining fabric, and then I pinned down the edges. 
actions answer all my questions just to show me what's on the other side of innovation no apologies my baby and then i went on to mark about four centimeters on from the top part of the fabric and then i went on to iron this on the sewing machine and i went back to my african print fabric and then i turned it inside out so i don't turn the lining fabric i just inserted it as it is Then I went to the top part of these edges. Then I started to fold down to make sort of like an encasing on the top part. Then I'll just go on to fold it. First fold in about five millimeters, then fold in about a half about two inches. Yeah, about two inches, and then I would just peg it down with my little pegs. After I had also done the other side, I now went on to sew down on the sewing machine. That is the result then so to use as my handles i used this rope and i was just going to take some jute some jute thread and then i was wrapping it around these um 50 centimeter pieces of rope they can see i'd already done one of them then i just went on to wrap the other one putting in is enough hot glue as possible i made a mistake of not putting enough hot glue just make sure to put in like a lot of glue when you wrap your rope Then I now took a safety pin and then I started to insert the rope inside the encasing of the fabric at the top of the bag. And another mistake as well that I did, I think maybe if I had made this at least uh, maybe just half an inch wider, the rope would, would not have been so tight. It was a little bit um, difficult to insert the rope inside.
then when I get to the end I just gather it like that and then I went on to insert it on the other side then I now took a needle and the thread then I started to sew the ropes together I also sewed the other side and Then I now took my jute thread and then I started to wrap around the parts that I had left exposed. So if I had had enough space inside my bag to to like shift the rope around, I would have made sure that the part which I sewed goes under the casing where it's not so visible. But it was really difficult to get the rope to move because my encasing was a little bit tight. So I just tried to make it as neat as possible by wrapping the jute thread as neatly as I could. And that is basically the end of the DIY and that is how it looks like on the inside it's quite a simple DIY and it doesn't take a lot of time but I really like the shape of the bag it's a nice bag to just carry when going out somewhere so thank you so much for watching this video guys I